Hi, I'm Julia, and I'm going to show you how to bisect an isosceles triangle. So let's start by getting the isosceles triangle up on the board. Well, first of all, we've got a triangle. An isosceles triangle has two congruent sides and two congruent angles. A bisector can be a ray, line, line segment, even a plane, whatever it is, it divides a geometric figure into two congruent parts. So in this case, we're going to use a line segment. You go to your isosceles triangle, and you pick the angle that's not part of the congruent pair. All right? And you start here. You're going to draw a segment that goes all the way down to this line here, which is called the base of the isosceles triangle. And when you draw this line, you're going to make sure that it's perpendicular to the base, meaning it forms a 90 degree angle. So I'll go ahead and draw that for you. 90 degree angle. And what this does is we've cut this angle into two smaller congruent parts. We've bisected this base. And what we have here are two smaller congruent triangles. We have, we can use the side, side, side theorem of congruence, or we have, I mean, it's all there. We have two smaller congruent triangles. Um, this line segment that we've drawn, the line segment that bisects, is also the altitude of your isosceles triangle, if that's something you're also looking for. So there you go. That's how to bisect an isosceles triangle. I'm Julia.